today we're going to be seeing how much can i crochet while binging Grey's anatomy if you guys missed part one of this video we crocheted to season one of Grey's anatomy and you guys loved that video and said i should do season two so i got season two right here i'm trying to grow my Grey's anatomy dvd collection so i have season two and season three on dvd just a little fun fact and that is what we are going to be binging while crocheting a bunch a bunch a bunch of crochet orders if you guys are new to my channel i have my own small business and i get a lot of custom crochet orders specifically crochet cat ear beanies that is my best 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 seller i make a bunch of those in all different colors and sizes and different designs so while watching season two of Grey's anatomy i will be crocheting all of those orders now this season of Grey's anatomy is a lot longer than season one that we did in part one of this video this season has 27 40 minute episodes so this video might be a long one the first season only had nine episodes i don't know what made them jump all the way to 27 episodes but that's what we're going to be trying to tackle today and this week so i think out of 27 episodes we can get a lot of crocheting done if i do say so myself before i get into the video if you want to visit my shop and kind of see what stuff i make and what they look like it'll be linked in the description or if you see anything throughout the video that you're like that's cute i need that for myself it'll also be linked in the description so without further ado, let's get right on into the Grey's Anatomy watching and crocheting. Alright, to start the first episode of the season, we are going to be finishing up this tan and cream cat ear beanie. I am almost out of tan yarn, which I didn't realize when I started this hat. So I'm not sure if this will be enough to finish it, so we might just have to start a new hat in the middle of the episode. <laughs> Last season on Grey's Anatomy. You are the doctors. They're interns, grunts, nobody. Feels like candy <gasps> with blood. Who here feels like they have no idea what they're doing? Stop looking at me like that. Like what? Like you see me naked. I don't get hit for surgeries because I slept with my boss and I didn't get into med school because I have a famous mother. I'll make sure she doesn't see the inside of it all for a month. You know, I'm your boss. You don't scare me. You should know that Richard Prompt's chief to both of us. Keep your friends close and your enemies close. You're not the enemy. There are other options. It's a tumor. Oh my god. You're falling for him. Hi. I'm Addison Shepard. Shepard? And you must be the woman who has been spying my husband. To be a good surgeon, you have to think like a surgeon. Cut, suture, and close. Your face to the cut that won't heal. My boyfriend is my boss. What does she do here? You and I both know that she's the best in the field. Bringing Addie out was a business decision, nothing personal. Oh, well, what a relief. It's not personal. It is personal to me. The workings of my surgical unit don't have anything. Don't include my wife. Don't include your private life. Richard is the biggest hater of Meredith and Derek's relationship like literally the whole show it irritates me so much because he like walks this like middle ground between oh I'm this father figure to Meredith but also I'm a giant hater of everything you do you are not this big wise know-it-all okay you're just old mind your business he irritates me sometimes okay he's a good teacher like for like as a surgeon but as a like family member, relationships, he's annoying. And then I know. See, there are moments for me. You know, usually when I'm in the OR, when I just know what's going to happen next. They say practice makes perfect. Theory is the more you think like a surgeon, clinical. Cut, suture, close. You dumped me. So I just finished the first episode and I only finished one hat. It's inside out right now. But yeah, I just finished 
the tan and cream but took a long while because it was the oversized size and the colors of the yarn are like the thinner yarn so i had to do more stitches and then i started my next hat which is going to be a light green and cream but i didn't get much done because this green yarn is a little knotted like this is the mess i'm working with right now so i was spending a lot of time detangling it so yeah i'm gonna try to finish up this next hat during episode two it's not us it's them them and their stupid boy they didn't tell me they had a wife i gave absolutely no warning that they were going to break up with you it's not that first broke up with me it's how he broke up with me like it was business like it was a business kid like he's a boss of me he is the boss of me because that's for she's gonna care so I just finished this second episode and I only finished one hat again so I'm kind of crocheting a little slow. So this is the hat I finished, it's still inside out right now, but it's just the light green and cream and I won yarn chicken again which is so surprising. I'm not usually a yarn chicken winner but I won these first two hats because I still had a little bit of green left and during the first hat I had this much tan left. So for the third episode we're going to be starting a lesbian flag cat or beanie and I'm going to try to use up a bunch of these scrap yarns over there since you don't really need that many rows per color. Hopefully I can get one hat and maybe a couple rows of another hat done this episode. I'm not really in any rush like there's not any urgent orders I need to do or anything. It's just 40 minutes a hat. Not my best. With a scalpel in your hand, oh, crap. you feel unstoppable. There's no fear. There's no pain. Probably, yeah. And then you leave the OR. You want to cry now? No. Okay, let's let's jog. And all that perfection, all that beautiful control, just falls to crap. Hey, you know what? Maybe you can come over tonight and we can all watch it together, right? How can someone be so offensive and yet so charming all at the same time? No matter how hard you fight it, you fall. And it's scary as hell. Except, if there's an upside to free falling, it's the chance you give your friends to catch you. So during episode three, I only finished one hat and then a couple rows of another hat. So I'm picking up the pace a little bit, but we're still going a little slow. So I just finished one lesbian flag cat or beanie, and then I started a pink and white oversized cat or beanie. So now we're starting episode four, and I think after I finish this episode, I'm going to take my lunch break for the day and then come back and do more episodes after. The key to surviving a surgical internship is denial. And most importantly, we deny that we're in denial. I don't know why I let her. Jane said she was okay. Nobody goes through what she went through and it's totally over by now. She's in the cat. She's fine. She does what she has to do. She lost a baby. She lost a fallopian tube and she's acting like she doesn't even care. She's all, hello, I'm totally fine. God, she's going to make a great surgeon. George. It's true. You show no weakness, you make it some people just keep their feelings to themselves. We only see what we want to see and believe what we want to believe. So it has come to my attention that I don't know how to count because this hat is ginormous. Literally, I was about to sew it together and I fold it in half. Why is it so ginormous? And then I go and I count all my stitches and I did 10 extra chains. So I'm just gonna have to take it all apart and we've wasted pretty much an entire episode because I literally crocheted the entire thing and it's absolutely humongous and there's no way I can fix it without just taking it apart and starting over. So one episode down the drain. All right, I just finished episode four. I spent the last like 10 minutes of the episode restarting the hat and I only got four rows done and now I have this big mess of a bunch of the strings that I had to take apart. So now I'm gonna take my lunch because messing with that hat kind of irritated me a lot because literally just wasted 30 minutes of an episode but it's okay i'm gonna take my lunch break gotta pack some orders head to the post office and then i'll come back and watch episode five i had a good time really thank you it was the perfect evening best date ever Whatever. you know especially like the part where you treated me like crap the entire night that was fun i had a good time really yeah the small twinge, a bit of soreness, the random pain, 
Then there's the kind of pain you can't ignore. Seriously? A level of pain so great that it blocks out everything else. Oh, they're sleeping. Oh, shut it. Way to go, George. I have my finger in a heart. Very cool. I'm in. I'm so in, it's humiliating because here I am begging. Meredith, just, just shut up. You say Meredith and I yell, remember? Here it is. Your choice, it's simple. Her or me. And I'm sure she's really great. But Derek, I love you. So pick me. Choose me. Love me. I'll be at Joe's tonight. So if you do decide to sign the papers, meet me there. Pain. You just have to fight through. You can't outrun it. And life always makes more. So I just finished episode 5 and I finally finished this pink and white hat that I kept messing up on. And then I got a really good amount done on this black and dark purple hat, pretty much halfway there. So I definitely can finish this during the next episode. I actually said pick me, right? I did? Pick me? I think it's romantic. It's not romantic, Joe. It's horrifying. Horror movie horrifying. Carrie at the prom with the pig's blood horrifying. Who's pathetic? What? You who pretend to be my friends are calling me pathetic behind my back, in front of my face. Why don't you just dump the pig's blood on me now and get it over with? I think he's crazy if he doesn't pick you. Please tell me you've seen a right leg, a cleanly severed right leg. Dr. Correa? I couldn't stop her. She was. She was on the train? Shall we? You're a cute doctor. Doctors get to call me by my first name. Bonnie. Hmm. I'm sorry? Whether or not you're going to hate me. You are his friend, a really good witch who came in and ruined your life and cheated on Dr. Wait, what is it? Right. As surgeons, we have to be in the know. But as human beings, Sometimes it's better to stay in the dark, but there's also hope. Better get cleaned up. Round. Alright y'all, so I just finished episode 6 of Grey's Anatomy and I got two whole hats done, so. So I started episode making this black and dark purple and I finished that up and then I started my next hat which is a black with light purple fur. You kind of can't tell that it's purple, it's more of a like mauve, that's what the color name is. This one didn't take me too long so I was able to finish the whole thing during the episode and now as you can see, it's getting dark and gloomy so I'm gonna pick back up the Grey's Anatomy watching and crocheting tomorrow. Once we grow up, learn our words, the harder it becomes to know what to say or how to ask for what we really need. What do you need to uh, make this marriage work? I need her to move to Seattle. That's just Addison. A... What do you need? I need him to stop talking to her. Not nuts. She's pregnant. <laughs> all right y'all so i just finished episode seven and we're on day two of our crocheting and Grey's anatomy binging and i finished just one hat just this pink and purple hat super cute color combo by the way and then i started my next hat but i only got the chain row done so yeah this custom order is the order i'll be working on for episode eight sal scaparillo was romeo as fate would have it i was juliet all the other girls were jealous but i had a slightly different take i told mrs snyder that juliet was an idiot for starters, she falls for the one guy she knows she can't have. 
Then she blames fate for her own bad decision. Mrs. Snyder explained to me that when fate comes into play, choice sometimes goes out the window. What's really funny about this scene is that like nowadays, anyone, if they have like any small little pimple or blemish, they all wear those like star pimple patches. So Meredith in 2003 really needed those star pimple patches instead of a Hello Kitty band-aid. I'm having steak. Do you eat red meat? You don't? So, apparently we both live on the side now. Yeah, you could at least acknowledge I exist. So during episode 8, I finished the custom order and it turned out really, really cute. Like, I really love it. It is a trans flag, as you can see, with white fur. And then since I already had the light blue and the white over here, I decided to make a light blue and white cat ear beanie. We're at an average one hat an episode. I'm not feeling like a super speed crocheter today. So this is a hat I'm going to be finishing during episode 9. Oh, George. Yeah. Oh, my oh, 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 oh. Please. At the end of the day, the fact that we have the courage to still be standing. Do you want to buy me a drink? Actually, I do. Is reason enough to celebrate. So during episode 9, I finished the blue and white. I love these colors together. I've been making some super cute, fun hats today. And right now I'm making a Miles Morales. We got a third of the episodes done so far. 9 out of 27 episodes done. I'm getting kind of overwhelmed. 27 episodes is a lot. But we're going to make it through. I have faith. I've done it before. I can do it again. So I will be finishing up this Miles Morales hat during episode 10. You've named them already? I know you think I'm crazy, or maybe just a little bit stupid. This is wrestling. I'm sorry if I've done something to offend you. The only thing that will offend me is if you pretend that you haven't been judging me since the minute we met. We're going to be spending a lot of time together, so we may as well be honest, right? During episode 10, I finished the Miles Morales cat ear beanie. My spider webs have been getting really, really good. Like these spider web hats have been getting ordered more often recently, and my spider webs are getting kind of good. So now I gotta make another spider web beanie, but it's just an all black with a spider web. They wanted to know where all the lonely people came from. More precisely, the surgical wing of hospitals. Well, she would have been if I hadn't interrupted. Yeah, she's talking. You don't talk to bastards who cheat on their girlfriends, George. That's the rule. I'm having a moment here. Don't mess with me. That's him. Yes, that's him. And who's to say that someone can't have four legs? Someone to play with or run around with or just hang out. So I just finished episode 11 and I got one and a half hats done. So I finished the spider web cat beanie and then I started a black and gray and I got five rows of this done. 
So, so far we have 11 hats done and we've watched 11 episodes, so we're still averaging about one hat per episode. And this is only 9 of the 11 hats because I had to ship a couple of them yesterday, but we got a pretty good variety going on. So now I'm going to start my 12th episode and finish up hat number 12. Experts think it's because people are less inclined to off themselves when surrounded by family. Looks like Santa threw up in here. What do you think? Did I go to overboard? Love Christmas. We know. Barely. Ironically, that same family togetherness is thought to be the reason that depression rates actually do spike at the holidays. There's the school of thought that says the family you're born into is simply a starting point. So I just finished up episode 12 and I finished the black and gray oversize and then I started this green striped hat which is a color combo I never made before but I don't think I'm gonna have enough yarn to finish it so I'm just gonna work through it until I run out of yarn while watching episode 13. Just set your watch to January. You know, I'm thinking about coloring my hair. Red. That's good. I'm thinking about cutting mine. Yeah? Not quite sure. I did not realize this was the season or the episode where Denny Duquette comes because I swear so much stuff has already happened so far in this season and I'm not even halfway done. I lost yarn chicken for this hat but surprisingly it went way longer than I was expecting it to. Hi. Idaho. I've never been. You reached Amy out, technically. You're off work, Christina. Go enjoy your day. Well, I'll enjoy my day if I can help retrieve a heart. I promise. Okay. Nice coat. That amid all the crap are a few things really worth holding on to. I just finished the 13th episode of this season and I got literally almost done with this hat. I just needed this light green yarn to last one more row but I ran out so I'll finish this up sometime in the future when I go to Michael's. And then I finished up this whole lesbian flag cat or beanie and now I'm going to continue binging the season tomorrow. Oh, darling. You Closing the peritoneal cavity with zero chromic sutures. I tried, but you wouldn't listen. It is now 6.07. The second shift nurses start at 6. <laughs> so he uh, chews everything. So don't be now. He hates cats and small little yappy dogs. Oh, not that it's perfect. No, probably should have told you that. Yeah. It hurts. So we lie. So I just finished my first episode of the day, which was episode 14, and I finished a regular black and gray, regular size, just best, best, best selling black and gray. And then I started a black with black fur, and I got most of it done because these hats have like less rows than all the other hats, so I just have to do one more row and then add the fur on top, so I'll definitely finish this during the next episode and start another hat. There is a red line on the floor that marks the point where the hospital goes from being accessible to being off limits to all but a special few. 
Crossing the line unauthorized is not tolerated. Yeah, can't cross the line. I can't. How I get either George for the twist we have? You, you took an oath to heal. You're a healer. In general, lines are there for a reason. Is there any blood yet? I'll be better scab nurses. For safety. For security. For clarity. You can do that in an SUV. You did Liberty Ridge. <laughs> wow. That's hardcore. Hi, I'm Sydney Harris, the best teacher I have. Heroin, is it? It is, and you are? Busted, Burke. Busted, Burke? Why? No kidding. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. I, um, I heard you had a case of necrotizing fasciitis. So you don't see a lot of those around here. Oh, yeah, well, being a cardiothoracic surgeon, I wouldn't think you saw any. It's almost impossible. If you do manage to make it back across that line, you find safety in numbers. <laughs> so I just finished episode 15 and I finished two hats this episode so I finished up the black with black fur and then I started and finished a black and white and now to start episode 16 I'll be starting a all black just solid plain black cat beanie. Some kind of sixth sense. When the great beyond is headed for you, you feel it coming. What's the one thing you've always dreamed of doing before you die? So during episode 16, I finished the all black cat ear beanie, didn't take me too long. And then I started a black and gray, but I'm about to lose yarn chicken and I don't think I'll be able to finish. So I will just work this up until I'm out of yarn during episode 17 and then I'll have to just start a new hat. Also, I'm so surprised that the bomb episode is literally in the middle of the season. Like, I thought that was like the season two finale because it's like a part one and part two. It's, it seems like something that would be a season finale, kind of crazy, you know, explosion, but it's just random episode. You know when you're going to die. Some doctors say it's a look patients get in their eyes. Some say there's a scent, a smell of death, whatever it is. It's great. Because if you know, what do you do about it? If you knew this was your last day on Earth, how would you want to spend it? Leave so during episode 17, I worked on a few hats this episode. So I added about another row of this hat and then I ran out of yarn. So I had to set a new hat. And the next hat I started was this gorgeous light blue and pale gray. Literally, whoever ordered this color combo, you got great taste because I never made this hat before. And literally these colors look so good together. Like, ugh. It's perfect. And then at the very end of the episode, I started another black with black fur, and I should finish this up during episode 18. Are you hitting on me? In the hospital? Would that be wrong? Oh my goodness. I literally did not know Mark came into the show this season. So much has happened this season. If you couldn't tell, I like Mark, okay? He's fun, he's fresh, he's funky. And he's fun. A lot of people's storylines just stay dramatic and sad. Mark brings some happiness, some vibes into the show. And I like that. I had no clue he was even in this season. I swear he came like season four or something. That's all so good. Oh, it would. She won't show you. He's not the kind of guy you leave if you can help. During episode 18, I finished the black with black fur, super cute, and then I started another all black, and literally I only had one more row left. I almost finished it. I'm gonna still finish up this hat during episode 19, and then start another hat. It recommendations? Yeah. 
I, I guess we can't really complain about Carly. It's not unfair. It's not unexpected. And even when we're about to do something we know will tend to calm it. Just friends. Just friends. We do it anyway. Alright, so during episode 19, I finished up the solid black cat hair beanie and then I started a black and dark purple. Pretty much got most of it done and I'll definitely be able to finish it during episode 20. Tell your friends, I'm still mad about this very right, bad, horrible thing you did. The very horrible, bad thing that I won't tell you about? Yes, they're still upset. Actress, French, hot. We didn't realize how deep the infection I had run until we were in there. There was too much tissue damage. Heath, the infection was caused by a methicillin-resistant staph bacteria. And it's continuing to spread. We'll be lucky if we can preserve enough muscle for you to have any hand function at all. So during episode 20, I finished two hats. I finished up the black and dark purple, and then I started and finished a black with black fur. So now I'm going to be finishing up the rest of the episodes tomorrow, and I'll be starting another hat. To start episode 21, I'm going to be crocheting a pink and white cat ear beanie, but I don't think I'm going to finish it because this does not look like enough white. I'm going to start it anyway just to give myself a head start for when I do finally go to Michael's. So let's start episode 21. My college campus has a magic statue. It's a long-standing tradition for students to rub its nose for good luck. Hey, you don't believe in that seven fatality thing, do you? I believe this girl needs her spleen removed immediately. Go pick up her labs and get her on the board. We'll break the news. So during episode 21, I didn't finish up this hat because I ran out of yarn. So then I made another pink hat, a red and pink, and I finished all the crocheting. I just didn't have enough time to sew all the ends in yet. So that's what I'll be doing during episode 22, sewing all these ends. And then I'm going to start a black and purple. This is Meredith's knitting episode, which is perfect because we're crocheting and watching Grey's Anatomy and she is learning to knit in this episode. Roar. <sighs> it's okay, be the results as soon as you can. I won't. Wait, excuse me, sir. Yeah, are you, what's your name? That's her. You're Grey, yeah. You're Meredith's father. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want me to page her for you? No. So it's not whether you win or lose. It's how you play the game. Right? During episode 22, I crocheted up the whole black and purple hat, but I didn't have enough time to sew in all of the ends yet, but I got all the crocheting done, so pretty much finished it up. So during episode 23, I'll have to sew these ends and then I'll start another hat. Would you be willing to sacrifice your life or your music? Good morning, Ms. Graber. Oh really? Good morning. Mm -hmm. You haven't let me sleep in three nights. Mm -hmm. And this ridiculous hat is destroying my self-esteem and I still haven't had a seizure. Room. Hey, Welcome home. So during episode 23, I finished up this super cute and fun yellow and orange. I wasn't able to sew up these little ends, but I'll be able to finish those real quick at the beginning of episode 24, and then I'll be able to start my next hat. Leave it alone. Everything's sanitary. Could she just wash her hands? Wanted her to regain as much strength as possible before we operate again. At the same time, we want to repair the damage as soon as possible, so it's a balancing act. Um, still her mom, I, I just don't have to whisper. If we wait much longer, she'll go into multiple organ failure. During episode 24, I finished a black with black fur cat ear beanie, and then I started a all black. This is going to be a spiderweb cat ear beanie. We are on our final three episodes of Grey's Anatomy, our final three episodes. If you can hear the neighbor's dog barking his life away, I apologize because there's nothing I can do about it. But anywho, we're about to start our last three episodes of this season. Gluttony, pride, lust. He's picturing my face. He's totally picturing that dart puncturing my skull. But the sin you don't hear much about right, is anger. Go. And he's standing there talking about putting the dog down. Are you ready? It's 
It's okay. Brooke will be here. So during episode 25, I finished up the spider web cat ear beanie, super cute. And then I started another black with black fur cat ear beanie. And I got most of it done I'm on my last row of black and then I need to add the fur on top. So I'll definitely be able to finish this during episode 26, which is our second to last episode. Two more episodes left and then we're done with this season. It's been shot, dude. We're gonna have to run these tests ourselves. Unos gave us an hour. In a couple of minutes, our time is up. I'm telling you, this chick is hardcore. She's not gonna wait. I'm not guaranteeing anything. What you think I should do? During the 26th episode of season 2 of Grey's Anatomy, I finished the black with black fur and then I started and finished a pink with white fur and then I started a black and dark forest oversized cat beanie and I will be trying to finish this up during the last episode of the season. Let's watch the last episode and finally add up everything we've crocheted. I cut the Elvan wire. Actually, I cut the Elvan no, wire. No, I didn't. I don't want to cut the wire. Fine, I cut the other wire. Here is me. I cut his other wire. I didn't know what. We have finally finished season two of Grey's Anatomy. I have binged this show a gazillion times, but it is so much harder to binge this show while crocheting. It's not the same as just laying in bed, eating my snacks, binging the whole show in one sitting. I am working and crocheting and making orders and I did not realize how tired I would be. That was so, so much crocheting, whatever 27 times 40 minutes is that's how much crocheting i did and i'm burnt out so during that episode the last episode i finished the black and forest green and then i started another black with black fur but only got five rows done so wasn't able to finish that hat but that's okay so my review of season two my favorite character danny duquette obviously always puts a smile on my face brings so much joy so much good energy into his episodes i don't have a favorite episode for this season there's just too many episodes to sit here and rank them and decide so i don't have a favorite i'm sorry and the question we have all been wondering and waiting for an answer how many hats did i crochet during season two of Grey's anatomy let's go add them all up during season two of Grey's anatomy i crocheted a whopping 30 hats plus four hats that i almost finished but didn't finish all the way so i'm just gonna count those as half so i finished 32 hats during the 27 episodes of season two of Grey's Anatomy. That gives me an average of about one and a third hat per episode, which is about the same as my crocheting speed from part one when we did season one of Grey's Anatomy, so not too bad. So thank you guys for sticking with me throughout this whole video. I know it was a long one, 27 episodes, three times as long than part one, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to see me do another video like this, but to your favorite show or movie series, comment down below what your favorite show or movie series is, and I will do a how much can I crochet to that series. If you want to see more crocheting videos, specifically how much can I crochet videos, you can watch this playlist right here. Or if you just want to be ready when my next video comes out, you can subscribe and turn on post notifications right here. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, love ya, toodles.